Well, the country's terror threat level remains high as it struggles to grapple with the mosque attack that's left 49 people dead. Now questions are being raised as to why those arrested weren't on any watch list. Andrew McFarlane has more. New Zealand is waking up to the awful realisation that terrorism lives here too. The events of yesterday afternoon still sinking in. It was just shocking as it unfolded. And I just really feel for our Muslim community. Christchurch's mosque shootings attracting worldwide attention and condemnation. To target Muslims as they were attending their place of worship is despicable. And our thoughts and prayers are with the people of New Zealand with the families and friends of those who have died in these attacks. It was a calculated and planned attack, which the gunman filmed on a body camera and live streamed. One News has chosen not to show you that footage. There were attacks at two mosques, both within 10 minutes' drive of each other. In total, 49 people dead and 42 are being treated for injuries. Two of those are critical. One of them, a four-year-old child, is being transported to Starship Hospital. Everywhere, there is shock. I'm thinking this is just getting really strange. You know, for Christchurch, um, um, this is not something you see or hear. Um, it's something you watch on other countries' news. A religious studies expert says it appears the attacks were meticulously planned to strike on one of the mosque's busiest days where as many as 500 were worshipping. Friday prayer is uh, obligatory for all uh, Muslims, so especially Muslim men. If you uh, want to have a huge target, then you just go to the mosque. Now there are questions around how our security services appear to have missed detecting the attack. If this man or these men uh, were active on social media uh, with hate speech, one would frankly expect that to be picked up, not only by our own services, but frankly also by social media platforms. The former Prime Minister says all eyes are on New Zealand, a country no one thought this would ever happen to. Uh, we, we have had a self-image of ourselves as a certain kind of society, and yet out of this society uh, came this. So we have many questions to ask, I think. A 28-year-old man's due to appear in Christchurch District Court today, charged with murder. Two others remain in custody. Andrew McFarlane, One News. And we are keeping a watchful eye on that press conference uh, with the Prime Minister. We will.